What's up guys? Uh I'm gonna make a kind of a quick overview or tutorial today. Uh try to show you how to make hair. I got really bored and uh I I kept deleting all the hairstyles that I was making with the curbs and like you know, the bezier circles and the nerves path or whatever, all that mumbo jumbo. Uh and I ended up finding a new way to do it, uh, from uh this person right here, Nish Kwong. I think I'm pronouncing it right. Uh, really good 3D artist right here. Uh, I took the idea from his Zero Two, where he made the hair, and uh, I haven't seen any. Well, I haven't looked up too much, but if there isn't one for a tutorial, uh, I'll try to make a decent tutorial of how you did the hair. So uh, this really works best with people that are characters that are gonna have like flat hair, like you've seen his like. Uh, Rem and Ram ReZero. Uh, they have that flat hair in the front. Zero Zoo has the flat hair in the front. So uh, that's where this method kind of works the best and then you have to actually model the hair out a different way or it works better in a different way. So I uh, guess I'll start with that real quick. So to do that you will get a UV sphere and then <coughs> you'll uh, just go to x-ray mode delete, you know, how much, usually I delete up to the top of the head or half of it, so I'm working with like an even section. And then uh, however your character's head's going to, how big their head's going to be, just take that, something like that maybe. And then you make it down to their head size. And then I'm going to just, I'm not going to delete these, I'm just going to hide them from the back so I don't interact with them from the front and make some weird hairstyle going. Uh, you can use the mirror modifier on it, and you know if you want to go for this, you know obviously the similar look on each side, and then afterwards apply the modifier and then adjust the hair a little bit differently. You can, uh, but for the hairstyle, how I did it, um, I, it's really simple. All you do is just, you know, for like, see this. Mm, I'll do this piece right here. So I kind of just. Slid this over right to there. Slid this one over here. And then just extrude it. Scale it down. Extrude. Scale it down. And then rotate on the Y a little bit. Grab it. Sorry if I'm going a little fast. I mean, it, it's a. You can. I mean, you can see what it's doing. You just anywhere you want to build hair off of. You just extrude off of it, and because you're copying off your hair base, how much you need over here, probably like that much. If you want to take these three, so all I'm doing right now is just extruding, and uh, I'm not following my hair like the outline that much right now. And this is another cool thing where you can just you know you just slide your vertices if you don't need that much. Take another one, extrude it, scale it down, and so you got something like that. Well, I show you. So you got something like that. A little funky. Uh, I'll just shade it to smooth right now. And then all you do really is just add your subdivision. I'll bump it up to two. Put on a solidify modifier. And uh, actually, I should probably put that back just to show it a little bit easier. And Okay, and then just make it as thick as you need. It does get weird looking when you get like so big. So you, with this method, it it is kind of like if you're having just like a pose or something. It's not really for like a full on 3D character all the way. You do you would still need to model hair, the the regular like the nerves and cap the n or the path and bezier circle or nerves and path. However, it's uh, pronounced that method to kind of get the final like perfected outlook you want on it but this method is really nice though like so you want to work off of like only two vertices or four of them if you want four for like you know some weird hair sticking out like this and just something like that that's that's really weird but anyways you know it, it's anime hair actually that's kind of cool you know Maybe I don't know. Maybe maybe I'll throw it in on this person. <laughs> but like, 
since you can do something like that, you can also do something like this where you grab these, you know, change it to a circle, extrude it. And look at that. Now you you've already got a hairstyle. Looks pretty decent. All I gotta do is add some color on it. You know. Uh, let's see. There we go. Add some color on it. Pretty decent. Uh if you have uh hairstyles or pff, shaders or whatever, you just throw those on it. Same as regular hair, you just don't have to convert anything to a mesh or anything like that. But, but like I said, it's a really simple, easy way. Uh I don't know if there's any tutorial. I mean, it really doesn't need a tutorial, but if if anybody never had an idea that you could do hair like this, well, now you know you can do hair like this. Really simple way. I like it. It makes it easy and quick. And yeah, it it's really simple. But it just looks a little funky unless you add a little bit more to it. But yeah. Uh that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.